Hi everyone, Jared here. Time for the market video update. Um, we have had a pretty slow day in the market. In fact, nothing has really moved at all. Uh, we had a little bit of movement in the UK session. We were able to grab a few pips out of the euro dollar and then it's just been a really slow US session so far. Um, we can see that kind of uh, apparent here how the Dow is just a few minutes, a little less than a half hour before the close. Dow is about 16 points down. It's not really up, not really down. It's not dramatic either direction. Uh, s and is down a little bit. Gold's down a little bit. Oil's flat. Everything just kind of had a really flat, boring day today. Uh, we saw consumer confidence come out, which was not really off of expectations by too much. We actually had a revision from last month's number that made it a little bit better than expected. So really just a bunch of kind of sideways movement. Uh, coming into the UK session and the US session tomorrow, we have durable goods. This is a, a definitely an important one. And current accounts should get the market moving just a little bit. So keep your eyes on that one uh, coming up into the UK session. But uh, not a ton of news tomorrow. But remember, this durable goods will get things moving quite a bit. So we'll keep our eye on that. Dollar index still hasn't, I haven't lost all hope on this one. Uh, our ascending trend line is still intact right here, uh, and it's still just barely below 79, or below 80, just, just a little bit above 79. Uh, we've seen it get as high as 81, and it's just kind of consolidating in this area. Remember, this represents a couple of months, and so the dollar index has just really been range bound here, so it's not making much of a run either direction. So here's a couple of things we need to be watching for today. We're actually in a trade on the euro dollar currently, and we've been in it for several hours, and it hasn't moved at all towards our stop loss, towards our take profit, just very consolidated. Um, so that's good and bad. Uh, hopefully these markets pick up a little bit. But, but the current levels that I'm going to keep my eyes on right now are going to be 133.20. If the market gets below that, uh, it's probably going to come into contact with 133.00. Now, I'm not necessarily going to take a trade at 133.20. Uh, but I'm going to use that to kind of tip me off that, that this could be ready for some bigger movement. And below 13300 is where I think we'll have a sell opportunity down into our ascending trend line. Look at this euro dollar right here. We have this uh, still our, our big main target on the upside is 134.8590. But we've got this four hour trend line right here that I think the market might want to retest before continuing up. So I think we're going to get a little bit of a dip down and a push higher. Uh, so in that situation right there, we're going to watch these trend lines or these little support and resistance levels right here, which are 133.50 on the upside, 133.20 on the downside. Again, 133.20 breaks, probably a couple of pips we can grab out of that down to 133.00 uh, where we could potentially lock in profit. This is where it's kind of tricky. I don't love the sell entry at 133.20, but I think it could happen if you can watch the trade. Um, and if it breaks down there and you lock in profit super quick, like within 10 or 15 pips um, as this comes into contact with 133.00, that should be pretty interesting, but the overall uh, real trade that we should be looking for is the break of this 13300. I think 13300 is going to give us um, uh, a nice little entry. So I'd be looking to get into something maybe around 13290, right in that general area, to take it down to 13245.50 ish area. Otherwise, if we get above 13350, then we're probably going to have a little bit of a uh, of a hard time getting above this trend line right here, which is the big channel from uh, the daily chart but I think we're gonna make it so this is a big channel and this thing is there's all expectations that we're gonna see breaks here um, so on an entry here of, of a break above 13350 again try to lock in profit as quick as possible uh, we have these highs here which are just about 35 pips from uh, from our entry level of 13350 if we do get that break there so try to get some profits locked in and hold on to this thing up until about 13450 I think there's gonna be some good profits on that so these are the two levels to watch 13320, 13350, and uh, we should see some good movement there. Pound dollar has been kind of interesting. Um, here's our little support right here that has kind of been holding in uh, play very nicely. We can see that we still have this 15990, which is uh, if we go all the way out here, we can see that those are that, that's the high of last month, and, and the market's kind of tested it again, and there's a big double top there. And it's having a hard time getting above that area. So big double top, big double top, it's come back to it, and it's just having a heck of a time making much headway there. So I think if we get a run of one... 
5945, this could give us an opportunity to take this pair down into 15900. So there's probably going to be about 30 to 40 pips in a move like that. So break below 15945, let's trade it down to 15900, and even possibly a little bit below. And then down at this area, we're going to start looking for some buying opportunities, uh, even down in the 158, 75, 80 you know even slightly below but we'll we'll talk about the buying opportunities uh, as we go and those notes will be posted in the chat but for the moment we're just going to look for this sell if we can get a break of 159.45 likewise if we get above this area here if we see a nice little break you can see that this tested 16001 so just right on the dot of that 160 so if we get a break above this which is you know a little ways away now about 45 pips that could be interesting as well and there could be a quick little buying opportunity above that so just keep your eye on these levels be ready for either one to break and move and there should be some good pips in there euro yen and pound yen kind of doing their thing and as always not super interested in what's going on here but just keep keep an eye on trend lines um not expecting anything major to happen here, but just watch these guys. You can see these little trend lines. You can see the possibility of one-hour crossovers in the works. Uh, so just kind of keep an eye on those. If we get a trend line break, that'll be a one-hour crossover on both pairs, uh, and there could be some good pips to the downside there. If anything does noteworthy happen, uh, then we could... And then, then I'll mention something in the chat and on Twitter and so on. But for the moment, I think I'll uh, stay away from those ones. The Aussie dollar is doing something interesting. If we look at this Aussie dollar here, we're still waiting for 105.50 to break. It got tested, 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 failed. This trend line that you see right here is on the four hour chart and it's failed on breaking that trend line and it's come up to the four hour gap and uh, and also to our uh, 100 day moving average uh, right here. And so it's, it's kind of run into a pretty decent amount of resistance, wasn't able to make much of a break there. Um, here's what I'm looking for on this Aussie dollar. Uh, here was my level that I drew in here, which is just kind of the low around 104.75-ish, and we already see that that's breaking, and there's probably some further downside to this one. Uh, so, you know, there, there's there's a few pips that can maybe be had uh, on this breakout, you know, with stops close by above that area kind of a thing. Uh, so keep an eye on that. But really what I'm looking for is if this thing dips down or if it just starts to consolidate, uh, number one, I like a buy above around 105.10.15 to take it back up into these highs of 105.50 uh, and then beyond. So this is going to be a nice little buying area. And this may come down just a little tiny bit, but for the moment it's around 105.10.15 uh, and that should give us the buying opportunity. So let's, let's let this thing kind of continue to move. Um, it may break lower, but uh, I, I don't know that I'll be getting into anything like that. I think the entry was already... Uh, back here on that one so it's just kind of on the tail end of some of this movement so let's let it dip and then we may adjust this buy entry but for the moment it's around 105 10 15 uh, that we'll look to get in on a long on that Aussie dollar um, gold has made some very aggressive moves on up and then it's just kind of run out of steam a little bit here just shy of 1700 we've talked about this level quite a bit and now it's breaking uh, or it's kind of double topping and looks like it might break this trend line it's currently sitting just a little bit above 1680 uh, like I have right here if we get uh, two and below 1675 this should be a good selling opportunity for gold uh, to take the pair a little bit lower so watch for 1674 75 and uh, we should see some runs down on that so we're going to keep our eyes uh, open for some of that movement the rest of everything else kind of choppy kind of interesting euro swiss franc is just hopping around not doing too much uh, dollar yen getting a little choppy a lot of these pairs are just getting kind of crazy so we're going to stay away from those and be careful but we've got some great entries on the euro very close by some great entries on the pound dollar and some great entries on the uh, aussie dollar so best of luck guys we'll see you in the chat and i'll keep you updated with any uh, latest changes that might be happening on on these setups thanks everyone good luck